that is a fall of 20% in open interest. One fifth of all contracts closed in the last week. Yeah, it hasn't been so great and we're getting frustrated and all this other stuff, but there's a lot, there's a lot going on beneath the surface. And I'm gonna show you what it is. This week I wanted to focus on the extreme movements in open interest. It has collapsed by about 20% percent in a week that means the amount of contracts open on silver futures is down 20 percent in one week i don't know if this has ever happened before since the 1980 short squeeze we'll take a look on a long-term chart but i'm not gonna be able to scrutinize it and see every daily movement but it's a pretty big move down in open interest which means that the longs are giving up the shorts are covering and the longs are not rolling over they are bowing out of the market again and we are at very near 10-year lows in open interest in silver futures. It doesn't mean that a bottom is in right now, but it means that a trend change is most likely imminent. And we've been hearing from Andy Schechtman at Miles Franklin that silver premiums are down. They are, but still they're at near historic highs. I'll show you that chart just to give you a perspective on what it means that a premiums are low. And I don't see premiums as a premium for physical. I see it as a discount on futures. So the higher the premium is, the less serious people are taking the futures market. And the higher the premium, the more disconnected the paper markets are from the physical markets. And what we want them is to be completely disconnected so that we can return to real money and collapse the entire system of corruption. In other news, we are in our seventh consecutive month of deflation and the Strategic Petroleum Reserve is down below 350 million barrels to August 1983 levels. That's before I was born. Further reverse repos, that money locked up at the Fed that couldn't make it into the bank system because the printing of 2020 was so extreme, that is starting to trickle out and go back into the economy and it is compensating for a lot of the Treasury issuance that has been going on since June 1st. So the money supply may stabilize from here, we'll have to see. New money supply numbers are out and it shows that it, the money supply has grown a little bit. We have what looks like a potentially textbook head and shoulders bottom here. Uh, you have sh one shoulder here uh, at the end of 2021 and 2022, and you have another shoulder here since the beginning of 2023 with the support zone at the bottom of both of these shoulders with the head bottom down here in September of 2022. This looks like a textbook head and shoulders bottom to me. Doesn't mean that all heck textbook head and shoulders bottoms turn out that way. No, it doesn't. But this is a very common and very followed and very logical technical pattern that suggests that the bottom is in for the silver market and the silver mining stocks, including Fortuna Silver Mines. So if you're looking for a place to get in, this is probably a low risk, high reward area. But of course, do your own due diligence, as they say. Does anybody use the word due diligence in any other context besides buying stocks? I don't know. I never use it in any other context. It's like a it's like a mantra. Moving on to the monetary situation as we see the Treasury soak up hundreds of billions of dollars. Where is it coming from? Well, the update for this week is that since June 2nd, when the Treasury's account at the Fed bottomed out at about 23 billion, it is now up to 438 billion, or real more precisely, 437 billion, 999 million. They're missing a million dollars or a million short, and it's a, it's a tragedy. But anyway, so since then, since June sec, June um, actually May 31st, when the auction started, reverse repos are now down 310 billion, and the Treasury account is up 415 billion. So that's a difference of 105 billion dollars, which the difference should come out from the deposits at the big banks. We will see uh, if this is happening and if the money supply is draining still uh, by the end of July when those numbers come out. But uh, right now the money supply is pretty even and it looks like it is leveling out mostly due to these reverse repos coming back into the banking system because of the high interest rates that are coaxing, coaxing them out. If we look at the uh, chart of the money supply growth going back to 1960, this is not exactly the measurement that I use at the Endgame Investor, but it's pretty close. Uh, you see here, we're still in extreme deflation. This is below zero. So anything below zero is absolute deflation annually. Uh, and we've been there since, uh, what is it? April 2022 or something like that. Uh, something in 2022, seven months. Well, if it's seven months, uh, December 2022 by these numbers. Uh, so yeah, we've never been in that before. And we look, uh, we look here, you kind of like zoom in. You can see a little bit of a bump up for the first time since whenever this was. Uh, and it, it's not really that significant yet, but it might become that way. We'll see what happens with the money supply um, as we go forward. Doesn't look good, though. 
a quick word on the SPR, the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Don't forget that we are uh, very near all-time lows. We're at lows that we haven't seen since August 1983 at 348,617,000 barrels 617,000 barrels um if the spr is going to be refilled as oil is headed higher it's going to supercharge an oil rally uh which is probably going to happen after the next financial crisis whenever that's going to be we all know it's coming we just don't know when and yeah it gets really annoying but that's the way of the monetary system now to the open interest and interest situation here there's a lot to talk about here so we have here from gold charts are us um see here this huge drop from here uh, uh yesterday or two days ago rather it was about 133,000, and it dropped down to 123,491. i think it was a drop of 10,419 or 519 contracts that is a, an enormous enormous drop and it is a drop that is con continuing uh for the last few days if we go uh over well, first of all um we're now at 119,000. this is a day behind 119,000 is where we are now um and that is just around the lows here from march 2022 and we could get below those lows which would be a very good sign it would be uh it would mean added fuel for the next rally but here if we move to uh, a view of the last week, right? We have here the June 22nd numbers. This is, this is from the COMEX statistics. Um, screenshots taken from June 22nd at the close was uh, on June 22nd, 145,000 plus 3,362 contracts because you add that to the, the total and then you get the total open for that for that day on June 22nd. It was like 148,416 or something like that. Anyway, if you take that number, 148,400 something, and where we are now is 119,525 contracts, that is a fall of 20% in open interest. One fifth of all contracts closed in the last week. Okay, this is extreme. And you can see here what is, uh, what is happening. The active contract is, uh, is falling off. Uh, open interest uh, and that makes sense because this is going to delivery um, by the time you're watching this it should be in delivery and we have seven thousand about 7800 contracts open uh, i'd say about half of these are going to close by the end of the day today and we should be delivering maybe between three and four thousand contracts which is still a significant number anyway this is this is big 20 percent in a week um we're, we're ready for a trend change here for a trend change here up to silver premiums yes they have been falling but not really that significantly um you see here we're at 30.1 percent on junk silver um and we've never really been higher than that for a substantial period of time only during um extreme crises like 2008 and the 2020 crisis and here for a brief period during a silver shortage um during the latter phases of of silver squeeze which i think we're still in because if we weren't then these numbers would be going down to here to this uh range here around 10 percent where they normally are when there's no crisis or when there's no consciousness of the need to collect and stack silver coins. There still is.